Um, all right, let's uh, do this one clip too. This is uh, pretty stunning. So it's, it's 15 seconds long. Let's just start with the clip of Roy Blunt. This is Roy Blunt basically breaking Joe Manchin's heart because he is making it impossible for Joe Manchin to maintain this fiction of bipartisanship. I think every one of us looks for opportunities to work with Senator Manchin, and we found those opportunities. I actually think when Stacey Abrams immediately endorsed Senator Manchin's proposal, it became the Stacey Abrams substitute, not the Joe Manchin substitute. Oh, because she endorsed it. So, child, child, one, this is what we're dealing with, too. So, Manchin, get it together if you propose it, and if anybody... Well, they're not going to back it at all. But the fact that Stacey Abrams endorsed it gives it them an immediate out, saying, hey, we're not going to back this. I mean, the, uh, you know, it's, um, A, it's a, it's maybe a lesson uh, for uh, progressive, for uh, liberal left, um, you know, advocacy groups, that if you have some, if you want to show support for some, maybe do it private first. Yeah. I mean, the but it is... Um, but it's also, I mean, how many lessons does Joe Manchin need and to be told that they are not going to vote for this stuff, that uh, if there is any, that they are allergic not to the bills. <laughs> they are allergic to compromise. F I, fundamentally, I, I'm not saying that, um, that I lament this. I don't. I think this is a perfect opportunity uh, to teach Joe Manchin that it is unsustainable for him to pretend that there is an opportunity for bipartisanship. And I mean, to the point where you basically had to beg Joe Manchin billionaires to buy off that guy, Roy Blunt, so that he votes for that January 6th bipartisan developed bipartisan executed bipartisan in practice commission and it's still a question as to whether he's going to even do it for for just pure cash because uh, you need to justify your adherence to the filibuster oh, I mean, well roy it, blunt will have a way to cash in no matter what i mean once I, he leaves office this is not the only opportunity that's going to be thrown at him given how much he served corporate interests during his time there without a doubt but, it's I, just yeah the, the, uh, i mean and, and i think you know mansion was saying that like some of you guys are going to hire him right anyways maybe sweeten it, sweeten it a little bit like the, uh go on that can i just say the um the him saying we would have supported it until the black lady said she would support it i like to point out when there's cases of nominative determinism and if you don't know what that is uh, nominative determinism is a hypothesis that people tend to gravitate towards areas of work that fit their names anyway blunt is his last name like <laughs> <laughs> there you go yeah again if we're if democrats keep negotiating with republicans on the understanding a misplaced understanding <clears throat> that it's the content of the bill that they're actually negotiating with them on y you're gonna lose every single time it has nothing to do with what's in the legislation they're a party of simply owning the libs at this point it's all about you know who is behind it and it's about obstructing everything the democrats and, and again this is the value of bernie sanders coming out and saying six trillion move the goalposts he to he, Japan. He, 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 this is the value of him doing that because he knows it's not going to be a six trillion dollar bill. But what he has done is given Joe Manchin a very wide berth of being as far away from the left wing proposal as possible. And he can still come in with a two trillion dollar bill or a two point five trillion dollar bill and still be able to say, like, and look at I stuck it to Bernie Sanders. And that's what Joe Manchin wants. And, you know, it, it's like, it's, I mean, it's as if uh, uh, Bernie Sanders is the only Democrat who understands who's ever, like, bought a car or, you know, like, uh, negotiate for anything. Like, you know, like, uh, Barack Obama used to do the exact opposite. Right. We're going to pre-negotiate with ourselves. And, you know, and, 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 and Biden, on some level, was doing, was doing that. When he was doing it with the Republicans, he was doing that with Manchin. In other words, 
when he goes down to $1.2 trillion uh, with the Republicans, he's signaling to Manchin, like, this is where I will be, and now you're going to have to move to the right of that number. But Sanders has made it now possible to say, like, well, here's the other ballast. And so, you know, you can be still on the side of restraint by coming in at $2.5 So that's uh, I'm very appreciative of that.